Hello people. Welcome to Fuji Speedway. Welcome back to the Renault Megane Trophy as well. So let's um, just get some links sent out. So I've just got to edit this. Lobby, what is live? Right, that's that. Facebook, next gen. Spell Renault, Chris, that'll work. Eno. That's the point. Are we renaming this the Alpine uh, trophy next season? Is that gonna happen? Oh, I haven't been looking at chat and it doesn't update me, so if you've commented in the last two minutes I won't have seen it, so my apologies for that. Right, so just waiting then for Quali to begin. During quality, I normally give you the intro and what to expect and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, yeah, if you've commented a moment ago, I won't have seen it because I, I was off the stream chat. I need to get it set up so I have like a constant chat feed. But yeah, I'm doing. I do it pretty much all off a phone, so it's, um, it's not a perfect sight. So I apologise. Uh, there we go. Uh, right, so after the excitement of the Brands Hatch India race from last week, uh, we return to a more traditional circuit, but this time we're at the full Fuji Speedway course. This is the uh, full GP version, as you see someone go horribly deep into turn one. You'll see that happen every now and again in the race. Uh, yeah, someone went horribly deep there. Um, yeah, Fuji's a, 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 proper, a, a proper track. This is, um, this is like a proper... Super GT track the lot. Um, I've had a lot of racing. I quite enjoy the track. It's very technical. Um, to extract the most out of a lap, really requires you to nail your turn in uh, and your throttle points, especially sector three. Sector three, they call this the Temple of Speed, Fuji Speedway, but sector three is probably the slowest um, sector on pretty much any race track. Uh, we'll obviously go through it in quality, and I'll give you a bit of an onboard, and we'll we'll see obviously what uh, what the conditions are like. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not getting chat. I'm not getting any chat. I, I'm seeing the little pop-up. Uh, let me just give it a refresh, sorry. Alright, uh, Twitch. Connect. So if I disconnect and connect again. Theory. Theory. Right. I've refreshed it. Sorry, I... D d this keeps happening with Twitch, it's been a bit of a bugger. Um, so I'm not been, I'm not been able to see things. Which is frustrating. Right, so um quality is about to start them. Uh, while we're doing that, let's just give you a little bit of an intro on Fuji. So based obviously by the name in the foothills of Mount Fuji itself. I built the early sixties. Uh, it was used for the FIA Sports Car Championship. It was acquired by Toyota uh, in 2000. It's hosted the Formula One uh, Japanese Grand Prix in 2007 uh, after 30 years' absence. Uh, it replaced the Suzuka circuit and uh, then they went back to Suzuka uh, from then on. Uh, the Super GT 500 is held here. Uh, the track itself uh, is an FIA Grade 1 circuit comprising 16 turns, race like record. Uh, 1 minute 18.4 held by Felipe Massa set in a F2008 Ferrari in that Formula 1 race we spoke about. Uh, 2.8 miles long and the, uh, the the vast amount of that, um, the vast amount of that is actually the straight which is ridiculously long. Uh, let me load chat up again. Can you see JPH this week though? Uh, I'll have a look. Yes, he's there look. He's there, JPH is there. I'll actually be able to um, comment on your race this week, JPH. So I appear to be getting chat now just because I'm watching my stream on my phone rather than the stream manager, which I was doing before, so I'll try that for this time now. Uh, I've been sent, JPH has been a G and sent me the points as well, so we'll rattle through the points. So leading the way is Hiracram, 
predictably. 104 points to his name. Uh, Woodo P2 with 92 points to his name. Hill Climb Racer, uh, he's P3, 85 points. He didn't have a great time out last time. Uh, we've got Timmy, he's uh, P4. He's having, a, he's having a good season, this Timmy. Uh, there with the works car, he's uh, got 75 points. Uh, then Jaino in fifth with 72 points. P Gibb, uh, he got an extra point last week for his pole position. 64 points for P Gibb going into this round. Bruce Lee Hardin holds P7 with 55 points and JPH 48 points in P8. Uh, D Whitehouse in P9 with 46 and Rally Matt P10 with 43. Uh, Saxo is 11th with 39 points. Waste 29 points to his name in 12th. And then we've just got a ton of fillers. Uh, just picking up points. Here we go. Uh, Andy G is a returning driver. He's got 7 points to his name. Uh, so he'll be leaping up the table today uh, with any real classified finish. Uh, so quality hot laps are in. I've no idea what the times are because I didn't get in the room early enough to sort of have a little bit of a sneak peek of what people were doing. But these are the GT4 Megans. So they should feel quite nice around here. They um, they should handle quite nicely. Uh, we'll jump on board a lap with, uh, with someone once we've got the initial laps in. Uh, we'll jump on board with a driver. Uh, just basically see if we can... Um, if we can show you what uh, what Fuji is like, as you can see there in the background. Sorry, I, I, I do normally get in these a little bit early, but I was um, busy building flat pack furniture. Alright, so here it comes. Going to set us a good benchmark here. He's nowhere near Felipe Massa's record. Uh, but what's he going to put on the board? It's going to be a 40.4 for Hirocram. Andy G next across the line. His lap time is going to be a little bit slower than that. It's going to be a... I didn't even see it. It didn't even come up. In fact, one minute. There we go. Uh, it was a 41.4 for Adam. 40.6 for Bruce Lee Hardin. Andy G with a 41.6 as well. JPH a 43.4. Scrim. 48.8, Jaino next across the line, Jaino is normally quite handy in qualifying, what can he put on the board? 40.4 uh, to beat, this is going to be a 41.6, so 1.2 seconds off the pace. Uh, Timmy, 41.6, Leapfrogs, Jaino and Andy, P Gibb, Gibbo for pole, it's not going to happen this time around, he's 9 seconds off the pace of 49.2. Right, Woodo then next across the line to set his first flying lap. Good time for Woodo, it's a 40.7, that's P3 for Woodo at the minute. Uh, Rally Matt starting his lap now and Saxo's in the pit. Saxo's had some horrendous connection issues lately. Which has basically prevented him from entering the, the past two rounds. Although he's attended them, he's not been able to actually enter in them. So he's just had technical issues pretty much every time. So the long straight then, this is where you'll see a lot of overtakes happening down this T1. It's purely because uh, purely because the slipstream has been built up that much. So does here can beat his time, 40.2, he does, he improves by two and a half temps. So going down to T1 then, uh, you want to be looking for the ball or, sorry, for the kerb starting on your left hand side. Roughly 120 metres is your breaking point. Uh, trail break your way in. Uh, just be careful on the exit, you don't want to run wide onto that astro turf because it's not very grippy and it will spin you around. Uh, technically turn three this one, look for the 50 metre board on your uh, on your right hand side, that's your turning point. You can cut quite a lot of that curve on the inside uh, and again just be, be careful not to run too far wide. Look for a little one off road there and you start to apply the throttle as you hit it. As you hit it. Uh, look for the blue bridge, start your braking before that but uh, start your turning about where the blue bridge is. And accelerate your way down then towards the chicane. Uh, another favourite overtaking spot of the drivers. This time you're looking for the um, this time you're looking for the Dunlop Bridge. Uh, your braking is just after that for Herocram. Most drivers will break it about the bridge. Herocram's a god on the brakes, so he can make that happen. Um, and then square your car up as much as you can to sector three. This is where all your time is gained and lost. Uh, this right hand here very tricky because the camera breaks away from you and the exit of the corner. It does the same up here. You want to turn in for this a lot earlier than you actually think get the power down. Uh, 
two ways to take this corner. Yeah, you can take the wide entry here, which basically squares off your exit, allows you to get onto the power a little bit earlier, or you can turn in later uh, and try and get the same effect. But um, most drivers, I think you'll see, taking a similar line to Hiracram. Uh, is he going to improve on his 40.2? It's going to be a hard time to beat for him, but he does get a 39.9 on the board. Uh, another two and a half temps uh, put up there by Hiracram. Uh, meanwhile, the Bruce Lee Hardin improves that time of 40.5. 40.3 that time out, so it edges ever closer to Hiracram's time. Hill climb race with a 40.6. Uh, improves to a 40.5 that time out, so takes 500 of a second off his time. Uh, Rudo is coming around the final sector now. He's still on a 40.7. Uh, Rally Matt, after setting his time, did a 40.8. Timmy with a 41-0 as well, so he's just about a second off uh, the, the current pole time. Right, so he's going to go for another one. Uh, qualifying is 10 minutes, so we're nearly at the end of qualifying now. Uh, the race itself is only 20 minutes, so it's a nice short stream today. Uh, there is no tyre wear, there is no fuel depletion. Uh, it is purely a get-in and drive series, so the drivers for this one don't have to worry about car setups, they don't have to worry about uh, fuel depletion, they don't have to worry about tyre wear, they can push the cars as hard as they want. Uh, it does tend to result in some quite fast, furious racing, especially with the 20-minute format as well, similar to the BMW series we see on a Sunday. Um, it just encourages the drivers to need to make those moves early, it doesn't allow you to really have too much patience if you want to get... Um, if you want to get a result. Means qualifying has a lot on it as well. So getting a good qualifying position is critical. Because uh, if you're down the back, you're going to really struggle to get through the pack with the cars all being exactly the same. Uh, the only bit that's different, as I always like to say, is the squishy organic bit that's uh, doing the controls. Right, so no improvement this time for Bruce Lee Harden or Heracram. Uh, hill climb race the last time was a 40.5 uh, let's see if he improves that he does with a 40.3 he uh, leapfrogs Bruce Lee Harden and goes on to the front row of the grid of course the, um, the P2 position actually if I remember correctly is the inside so if hill climb gets a slightly better start than him he's already got the inside line him going to have to move to cover that off uh, if he doesn't get a great start so watch out for that when the race begins in about a minute or so's time uh, P. Gibb, P7 for the time being, 41-0 for him at the minute, he has just improved his time, but he's struggling to get into the 40s, he's a second off the pace at the minute. Uh, Andy G, I think it's his second time out of us, the number 46, Fuchs car, 41-0 for him as well. Uh, six thousandths of a second between him and Timmy. Uh, Jaino is struggling, JPH is pulled over at the side of the road. Um, Jaino with 41-2, he's, uh, he's uh, high in the championship. But he's not high in the standings here at Fuji. He's got some work to do in the race unless this next lap is an absolute flyer. And here have been pushing too hard. Uh, he was improving that time around. Jaina was improving. So looking at the timing screens, I'm not expecting to see any pole times. Jaina 32-0. So he lost five temps in that middle sector. Uh, which might not... Might, might not be uh, good news for Mr. Jaino, but all your time is lost in this third sector. Uh, he doesn't have a slipstream though, so that's um, going to affect his time. He's, again, he's really pushing here. He has just gone a little bit too deep there. Uh, pushing it a little bit too much. He's... Let's have a look what this is. Is the exit good? It seems alright to me. 41.2 is his current time. It's 1.2 seconds off. He needs an improvement of at least two temps to gain a position here, which means he's looking to be in the 40s. Uh, does Jay now do it? He doesn't, I'm afraid. Doesn't improve that time around. Pretty much the exact same time as he qualified with. And uh, I think that's pretty much it for most people. Let's see. We've got Rally Matt out on a, uh, on a lap as well. He goes P5 now. P Gibbs out on a lap. Doesn't improve. Timmy's improved. He's up to P6. I don't know who else we've got out on track. I think that is it. The D. Whitehouse is just finishing his lap now. He's the last person to, um, to finish his lap. 41.6 for D. Whitehouse at the minute. Currently P10. He 
does improve but only by 400 of a second so it doesn't actually improve his time so some drivers struggling with Fuji uh, struggling to gain any um, struggling to gain any time right, I've gone back to stream managers just to see if that fixes it yeah good time there by Bruce Lee Harding 40.3 Just uh, half a tenth off hill climb races time. Uh, Bruce Lee Hand is probably going to be in a decent position. He'll get um, he'll get all the slipstream then going down into turn one. The driver's obviously taking this part of the circuit very seriously. Uh, look at Ronnie Matt's car. It's had a right bash up. I'm surprised the drivers aren't doing this aren't doing many practice starts. Hopefully Saxo gets away well. He's 11, so Adam ID, you've got to have your wits about you because the car in front is at severe risk of not actually getting away. I don't know what they're all doing here. This is chaos has broken out at Fuji, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're about to start the race. We're just waiting for the uh, race official to get us underway and then we'll uh, we'll have 20 minutes of Renault action coming up for you. So any predictions in the chat? Andy's doing that JPH, so is Adam, yeah, they're both they're both out and doing it. Um, any predictions in chat? Uh, obviously I know you're all gonna say here a cramp. Uh, no, it's not sector one dude. <laughs> oh is it? Yeah, sector there we go. That's oh, a JPH so I'm gonna be starting right at the back for this one. I think he's about to start the race. Oh Saxo's down in thirteenth. So Saxo actually not a risk to anyone if you don't get away here. So we shouldn't see any restarts again this time round. But let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay, 20 minutes lie ahead then here at Fuji oh, for the Power Max Racing Renault Megan Trophy. This is round seven. Uh, yeah, right, Hill Climb's got the inside then as we go down to turn one. Uh, Hill Climb's got to get a good start here. Fuji actually weirdly doesn't favour that. I don't know why it puts P1 on that side of the grid, but uh, that's the card these guys have been dealt, and that's the one that they'll deal with. So uh, we wait for five lights. Away everyone goes. It looks like uh, there was a car there that didn't get away at all, and it's been an absolute cluster in the background. Uh, Hirokram gets away well at the start, but there's only five, six, seven cars actually made it out. And, uh, what happened there? Who was it that didn't get away? It was whoever was in... Yeah, it was Ruddo, didn't get away. Rally Matt didn't get away either, so Rally Matt didn't get away, neither did Saxo. Yeah, and that just caused absolute mayhem at the back of the field. Uh, so we're just waiting for the restart. Uh, I sure hope someone screenshotted the... Um... Yeah, I saw P again. I, I... <laughs> New lobby will be made. Right, OK. Yeah, it was a good start. I'd... What's going on? This happens every... It's getting a weekly event now. It's to the point where we expect it. Did you get the um Did you get the screenshot of the results? I hope you did, because I'm not ending my stream again. Everyone can just tell you where they were. Shall I quit and come back in? Um 
Need to delete your network cache. I think we're going to make a new lobby. Every week, guys. Every week. But I don't understand it. I've sort of sucked those out enough. Pussy <laughs> P1. B1 Sebastian, 28th. Hey, Rukram, you could start 28th and you still win. Yeah, I think we're gonna have a new lobby. Yeah, mate, it has been since the PS5 release, hasn't it? Alright, so we're gonna have a new lobby. So let's just have a chat for a minute. Oh dear me. This is eating into my um my time now. I'll just wait for that. Yeah, but Where's the issue then? Is it with PlayStation service? Are they just taking less and less for PS4? Because um, GT7's out, yeah. Like it's, it's not like the new Gran Turismo game's out. And it's polyphony service or anything like that. It's... I don't know. Can't work it out. It's strange, isn't it? It is strange. Oh yeah. We're about to see it all again at Fuji. Let's go and see if a new lobby's out. Let's at least get in the room. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. I'd have thought they've addressed it. It's pushing us to ACC. Yeah, I'd play it. I'd play a set of course, mate. If only I could get over the graphics. Um, the graphics are dreadful. And to me, they're not. It's not playable. Like you can't even spot Apex as properly because the graphics are that bad. Think you got a PS4 Pro, it'd be alright. And obviously, I'm looking at getting a PC at some point. Um, money is tight at the minute, as you can probably understand. So I can't can't really justify spunking a grand and a half or whatever it is for a decent gaming PC that I'll handle streaming. Um, but I've heard it's mega. Yeah, yeah, JPH, I will agree, mate. Um, I've hosted for a similar amount of time, and it's only this season we've, we've, we've had issues like this. Oh, were you in that 24? Are you, is it the Nürburgring one, Pete, get by any chance? The um, Race Against Dementia. Are you in that one? Ooh. Yeah, no, but it's not a, um, or is it a 24 hour on a set of Corsa? Is that what you're on about? Because there's, there's a 24 hour race happening on GT Sport. And they're doing it in stint. They're doing four hour races. I, and, I, and I'm waiting for it to go wrong. Oh, wait, wicked. Solo? What? You're doing it on your own? 24 hours on it? How's that going to work? I'm assuming you're just going to, like, straight through it and not sleep, but... How's it going to work with, um... Like... Doing a number two, for example. Are you going to, like, get a commode on your rig? It's going to, like, cut a hole in it. It's like drive naked and just whatever happens happens. You just you'll just deal with the underneath bit afterwards. Just put loads of like sawdust down, <laughs> like a cat a cat ledge. <laughs> <In mode here. laughs> oh, classic! Wait, honestly, no, that's kudos, man. Are you streaming it or is it being streamed or anything like? Um, throw me some links over if you would, because I'll um I'll definitely chuck a few quid that way. That's that's impressive. That is. You'll have to let me know, dude. There's no way I'm not commentating for 24 hours. Hell no. I think the most I've commentated... I did a six-hour race once. I commentated a six-hour race. Um, yeah, it, that, it was hardcore. It was absolutely hardcore.
Give me one sec. Yeah, you'll have to let me know if it's stream, mate. I will, um... I'll definitely come and give you a shout out. Or is it next gen thing? Going out material in 20 minutes. Well, depends what happens in them 24 hours, mate, you know what I mean? Alright, this is it. This is it. Be on your alert, ladies and gents. Oh, Heracram needs to get a good start here as well. I mean, you see them practicing, they've been practicing as well. If you find out anyway, P.Gib, let me know. I would, uh, I would be interested in coming and sporting you. Alright then, 13 drivers, 20 minutes, one winner, it's Fuji Speedway, it's the next gen Renault Megane PMR Trophy, it's 3 two, 1 and away we go. There is a car that failed to get away, I think everyone's wise to it. Everyone sort of predicted it's Adam idea, everyone predicted that he wasn't going to be able to um, get away. Hiroquam uh, didn't get as good of a start this time around though, and he has been not bumbled out wide, but... Um, certainly shown the door a little bit there's been some chaos towards the back we've replayed it so we can go and have a, have a look at that hill climb racer was definitely involved in that uh, so was Rally Matt uh, and Bruce Lee Harding has managed to get himself up to P2 was battling for P1 for a stage Jay Eno though big beneficiary of all that chaos up to P3 Jay Eno uh, with Timmy in P4 and hill climb now P5 after that and there's a little bit more contact going on behind him that's uh, Andy G by the looks of it, a lot of cars running wide. Uh, P. Gibb down in P12. What's happened to you, P. Gibb? We will probably, in fact, we have to just go back and have a look and see. Were you caught up in that melee at the start? Uh, so he was one of the cars that got out of the way. Uh, so this is a replay of the start. Let's have a look at this. It's, uh, so there's Rally Matt. Uh, Rally Matt gets pinged actually by. Is that you, P. Gibb? Ah, that's why you're down at the back, because you're waiting. Right, fair enough. Fair enough. Can't argue with that. Uh, so leading the way, here Cram then, as we come towards the end of lap one. He has a small lead over Bruce Lee Harding. Bruce Lee Harding has a lead over Timmy. And then it's a bit of a slipstream fest behind them. We've got Woodo punching on the air for hill climb. It's Jano and Andy G battling away for that P6 spot. Scrim Grey also not far behind. All the cars behind looking to make overtakes as well, but here it comes. Managed to pull off an advantage. Uh, Bruce Lee Harding's pretty safe. It's Woodo and Timmy side by side into turn one. Uh, a little bit further back. Everyone looks to be pretty much just behaving themselves at the minute. P. Gibbs just trying to get some positions made back up. We've got a car off the circuit. Uh, that's Bruce Lee Harding. Actually, he was in P2 originally. What's happened to Bruce? So yeah, Bruce was in P2. Does he just get a little bit too much exit curb? He don't, he hits the green stuff. He hits the yeah, that's the it's slipperier than a greased up otter, that stuff. It's um you don't want to be putting any tires on that at all. So that's demoted uh, Bruce Lee Harding right to the back of the field. That has given Hirocram a 2.2 second advantage. Uh, we're not even off the second lap yet. Uh, Would have then becoming under increasing pressure from Hill Climb. Hill Climb's gone for the move up the inside. It was a nice move by the looks of it. What was that actually? What was that? Because it changed back. So Hill Climb was in P4. Timmy's ahead. Ah, so it was Timmy that got Timmy that went deep. Right, sorry, my bad. It was Timmy that went deep. And uh, Hill Climb Race was able to get himself back up to P3. Uh, a little bit of a gap then forming behind Jay, you know? That's. Uh, Oh, there's some yeeting going on behind. That's D. Whitehouse looking to get some moves made. A nice move up the inside. And he is now battling away with Rally Matt. Uh, JPX not too far behind them as well. Uh, meanwhile, a bit further up. Uh, here it comes, still leading away. The fastest lap at the minute. He's going to run over 40.1. A little 
little bit of field spread starting to occur. We've got Wally Matt and D Whitehouse looking to uh, have a little bit of a fight. D Whitehouse is having to defend to JPA. Oh, there's another car off. Who's that? That's D Whitehouse again. Oh, not again, sorry. Does he get any contact? Let's have a look. I want to say he doesn't. He just does the same thing. Yeah, same thing as Bruce Lee Harding did at the start of the lap. He's um, he's just touched the grass as well. Uh, easily done here at Fuji. Number one mistake I think that most drivers make is you really want to push it out of that T1 because you do feel like you're going extremely slowly. And in pushing it, if you run a little bit wide, you've got a fully loaded uh, left rear tyre. And it's never going to end well. Meanwhile, we've sort of scrim grey there. Go for a move down the inside on Andy. Andy fought him back though. Holding that position around the outside of the chicane. Uh, nicely defended. Uh, but Scrim Grace is trying to get this move made in the uh, process of doing that, though. He's coming under attack from Rallymat. Rallymat's going to get hung out to dry here. Uh, but he'd be wise just to hang on in there and look to get the move made uh, at the end of the main straight. Because that's your best opportunity for an overtake down the main straight. Rallymat there, I think, might have pulled the trigger a little bit too early. He's going to get caught out in the slipstream because. Uh, yeah, Scrim's just going to have the slipstream, maybe he's already pulling away, rather he's tucked back in, yeah, he might go for that move at, um, at turn one instead. Meanwhile, the driver's piled down here for the fourth time, we've asked him a quarter way through the race already. Uh, we've got Timmy there looking for a move down the inside on Andy, backs out of it, we've got Scrim Grey looking for a move down the inside. Uh, Andy gets that move made, anyone else make a mistake coming out of there, everyone looks to be getting through there clean enough. Right, I was just trying to catch up to the pack. P get back up to 10th then. Uh, but it's an absolute horde of cars, and these guys are just fighting. If we just jump on board with Rally Mark, we seem to be involved with all of it. He's got P get right behind him. Uh, and then you can see Scrim Grey, Andy, and Bruce Lee Harding all in close proximity together. It's not an easy track to overtake on Fuji in this middle sector. The cars tend to be equalised quite a bit. Woodhope's actually reeling in here at uh, You get the feeling here that um, Woodhope's just pushing a lot. He's broken away a little bit from Hill Climb Mesa. We've got Jano involved in this as well. He's had a great start. Timmy's not far away. There is a bit of a gap now for me to Scrim Grey. That's because these guys have been battling quite a lot. As you can see, evidenced here by Bruce Lee Hardy and Andy G going neck and neck. That fight will carry on all the way down to turn one, no doubt. Andy goes a little bit deep, though. Uh, got a good, uh, got recovered it, but uh, Bruce Lee Hardy is going to be able to slip one up the inside uh, because he's going to be getting the slipstream of the Adrian Flux car up ahead, or is he? Because the Adrian Flux car, I think, just made a mistake. I think he's recovered it. Yeah, it's slipstream central here, coming down. Into turn one, Timmy's remained ahead. Sorry, Timmy's got back ahead of Jay. You know, it's Scrim going Rally Matt again, fighting for position. Uh, Rally Matt there. Sorry, Andy G. Sorry, uh, pushing him as far as he can. Lovely move by Scrim Gray. That that was a that was a nice cutback. He kind of gave the position up and then came back for it. I'm just going to see what happens of this. I might go back and have a look at that because that was lovely driving. Uh, Mr. P. Gibb holding temp for the mirror. I was going to have a look. I just want to show you Scrim Grey's nice little, um, uh, nice little cutback. So he knows, he knew at this point, Andy G's got the overspeed. There he goes, he's ahead. You might as well let that car go deep and cut him back. Beautifully done. Textbook racecraft. Uh, so he remains P6. Uh, here we starting to pull that lead away. Woodo and Hill Climb, pretty similar for pace, so uh, they're not managing to really escape each other. Scrim Grey is still in sixth, and uh, these guys still unchanged, but there's a big pack now forming. D Whitehouse needs to get on the back of that as well. I'm sure he will by the end of the race. He's got good pace behind him, D Whitehouse. I'm sure I saw him in a lobby with Super GT as well last night. I'm sure he did. We shall, we shall see. Getting a little bit feisty, this is. Let's just jump, give. Let's go on board P. Gib Camp. Okay, 
Look at this. <laughs> this is ridiculous now. JPH has fallen off this a little bit, but any one of these five cars can go into this corner and come out ahead. Oh, that's deep, that is. That's deep. My rally map. He's pushing that boundary probably a little bit too much. Boosley Hardy now back up to P6, so it's good recovery from Boosley Hardy so far. Scrim Grey and Andy can carry on their little fight. Uh, P. Gibb up to 9th. Rally Matt, how did that turn 1 go for him? So he's. Uh, so there's P. Gibb right there. Uh, so Rally Matt's got the overspeed here now, and he's been pushed really narrow. Uh, that for me, that for me is a just give it up sort of free ride into there is always going to go wrong, but. Um, that's what I mean by this. these Bagans promote this sort of driving. It's fast and furious and we love it. It's what we want to see, to be fair. Um, it's clean, like none of these guys are banging each other around on purpose. I did just see Scrim Grey get um, shuffled a little bit. That's, um... right, so he's got a decent gap ahead of these cars. What's that? Right, that was a bit clumsy there by Andy. I'll be honest, that was a little bit clumsy. So that's put Scrim Grey in 11th. Uh, Woodo, good, good pace by Woodo, still still in the mid 40s. Uh, Heracram has taken the fastest lap though, 40.1. They are pulling away from Timmy. Uh, Andy then, 7th for Andy, Rally Matt in 8th. Pegan looking to get that 8th position. Uh, he's nice and tidy on the corner. Does he get it on the exit? Uh, I want to say Pegan might have a stab at this. He goes over the grass. Uh, they're going to go into this one free wide. You don't go into this one free wide, boys. Uh, it looks like Valley Matt as he backs out of that one early. Uh, gives JPH a one. Uh, it's probably a sensible choice by Valley Matt, to be fair, because that would um, uh, that was only going to end one way. Uh, a big big crash. Bruce Lee Hardy is starting to break away from that pack then and did he lead that little pack now with P. Gibb in tow. Uh, Rally Matt in 9th, JPH in 10th, Scrim Grey in 11th for D. Whitehouse in 12th. Leading the race still is Herricon by 2.2 seconds. Uh, Woodo on his heels you feel. Woodo's pace is great today. Uh, the number 24 Geisen car has really been, um, really been pushing the boundaries. Hill Climb Race has been with him every step and every corner, every turn. That gap really is never gone above what it is now. P. Gibb them with an opportunity to recover some points. He's in eight for the minute. He can just probably try and slipstream Andy down into T1. Uh, but bear in mind, he's got a very fight. He's in the middle of a very feisty pack. Oh, there's, he's got a finger there. He just got um, he just got his foot on the curbing. Did Andy? So he's trying to widen his entry. So watch, he'll want to tuck his car over to the left here any moment. So once his curb ends to drift over to the left, you see where that white little bit is there? That's your sort of left point. Yeah, it just goes too wide. There's no contact. So it's Andy and P. Gibbs side by side. So rather than P. Gibbs side by side, P. Gibbs actually gets shuffled then down to P9. Andy got the overspeed going into the corner. It's a very hard group to break away from. Bruce Lee Hardy's had a good, great escape here. He's able to pump in 41s while the drivers behind are doing 42s because they're fighting. Uh, P. Gibb and JPH still scrapping away. Scrim Grey's caught back up to that. D. Whitehouse is, is getting time on them as well. Herocrom goes into 39s for the first time this race. Uh, Woodo is pretty much sticking with him. Uh, Tim is kind of on his own now. He has got Jay, you know, for, for company, but he's not that close to him. And even these lot, even these lot are behaving themselves now. So, this is the point in the race where things chill a little bit. So, we might get a minute or two's peace here. an eye on this little scuffle in the midfield. Oh, who's that gone wide? That's Andy G that's gone wide there. 
that is going to give all the cars behind him a bit of a run. So P Gibb and JPH are going to get sucked along the straight. And we're going to get prime suck action then as we come down the main straight for the ninth time of asking. But I don't think P Gibb's going to be in range of an overtake by the end of this unless he goes for a Daniel Ricciardo S move, which he does. And he did go over to cover it, but it was a little bit too late. But it's fair racing. Mr. Gibb then is going to be side by side. He might just opt to keep his car here. He can see Rally Map breaking away up ahead. It's kind of frustrating when you're in this sort of position because you just want to try and get past the car that you're fighting with because you know you can compete uh, with the car that's breaking away. But because you're fighting, you're losing time. It's no one's fault. It's just racing. But it is a very frustrating situation to be in. I've been in it once before, a couple of times before, sorry. And can scrim the way back and he places up, then he's on the back of JPH now. Uh, JPH has been uh, like a voyeur to this little battle for most of it so far. He's been watching it all unfold and waiting to take advantage, but he's uh, just not been able to so far. Three quarters of the race has now elapsed. Hiropam is coming round to start the 10th lap. I dropped my controller. Ugh. 3.5 seconds now the gap. Between Hiropam and Wood. is carrying a little penalty, but so is Hill Climb, so it's no big deal. Timmy sets his best lap so far. Jay, you know knocking in the 41s quite clearly so it's Bruce Lee Harder though he's not bringing that advantage up uh, Andy G in 8th at the minute he's coming under a lot of pressure by Pegan uh, sends him wide uh, Andy is keeping the inside line uh, Pegan might just be wise to try and cut his line off Andy's late on the brakes uh, side by side through turn 1 Pegan be oh he, he saved it there that was a that was a brown trouser moment for Pegan but he has got the inside line for this corner here and Andy is going to have to concede this position at this point. Uh, he's not, though. He's fighting it. And they are going to go into the long sweeping right hand up side by side. That's going to give Scrim Grey the opportunity. Who has got past, um, who has got past JPX now? And, and suddenly P. Gibbs gone from being in 8th to 10th uh, in the space of basically just a couple of corners. Meanwhile, they can just see Valley Matt escaping away up the road. Andy's fighting this to the very last corner, I think. And he's got a good don't give up attitude too, I'll give him that. And um Scrim Grey as he gets himself up to P8. And then to P9. And it's <laughs> it's changing all the time. What's happening? I'm gonna wait till these guys are on the straight till I go back and have a look at that. P Gibbs trying to fight Scrim Grey for this P9 position. Goes out wide looking for the better line. Scrum Grace a bit of a wiggle on. Right. What happened with Scrum Grey down at the hairpin? So it was ninth. It's a good move, yeah, but Andy's just like. Andy's just sticking his car there. No, I think basically the way he's attacking this, Andy, is he's like saying, I'm going to put my car here. If you hit me and want to crash, you go right ahead. And that seems to be his strategy so far. Rally Matt, meanwhile, has caught up to Bruce Lee Harding. So Rally Matt, at the minute, is the fastest man on track, at least from sector one. And he's absolutely flying in the number 65 car. He's looking to make an attack on Bruce Lee Harding now for that P6 position. We'll keep an eye on that. Scrim Grey then, P8. Eventually, Andy G's down in P10. We've missed something here. Uh, do, we see, do we think we can see what's happened? Oh, that happened down at time, mate, and you got a wobble on. Uh, Rally Matt and Bruce Lee hard, and then Bruce is defending this position hard. Rally Matt's going around the outside. Uh, Bruce keeps the position for the time being. Meanwhile, a little bit further back, JPH now looking to attack for that P8 position. P Gibb down in 11th now. He's really been shuffled down the pack this race so far. Anyone if this again could finish anyway. Let's see uh, Rally Matt's attack on Bruce Lee Harding. I reckon that'll come to something. Right, so... 
I think the next lap is the last lap, I think, for most people. Looking at here, comes time, he's five seconds in the lead. If anything, he'll just get a parade lap. Right, so it looks like the top three, unless they have accidents, mostly settled. Right, let's have a look at these two then. It's Rally Matt v Bruce Lee Hardin. Rally Matt's going to try and hang this round the outside. He's late on the brakes and Bruce Lee Hardin, but that just means he'll be able to go for the cutback. Bruce Lee Hardin gets it a little bit wiggly then out of turn one. Rally Matt's got a, a nose inside here. He can, yeah, that position technically has been made up. Uh, Bruce Lee Hardin does just have to tuck into... Um, Tuck into P7 behind him. Scrim Grey then holding out P8 with JPH in 9th. Andy in 10th. Andy will go for an attack at some point, you can guarantee it. Uh, P Gibb in 11th. D White House still in 12th. He's not really been able to. Because he's been out of the slipstream train. Oh, unfortunately, that's kind of kept him out of contention. Alright, so. Let's just keep an eye on these guys. Anything happening with these? Uh, not for the time being. And he's going for the attack of JPH. It's a late move down the inside. And yeah, Andy gets that move done. Uh, so let's go and give Hirokram some credit. We've not covered him an awful lot, but um, it's easy to ignore him when he's leading the race by such a vicious margin. Uh, in the end of it, 5.6 or 5.7 seconds is going to be the gap between Hirokram and Rudo. Rudo with the P2, he'll climb into P3, Timmy P4. Jano P5, Rally Matt and Bruce Lee Hardin is going to be side by side for this P6 position. Who's going to get it in the end? Rally Matt just holds out. Uh, Scrim Grey gets P8. Andy G finishes 9th. JPH in 10th. P Gibb in 11th in the end and D White House in 12th. No one, uh, I bet P Gibb's going to be in the, um, in the chat in a moment telling me just what a mess that race was for him but uh, we'll wait and see that but yeah that's your um, that's your round seven from Fuji uh, what's next boys what track have we got coming up next week right, so we're waiting for so the, the Sirocco guys are actually in the lobby because um, they're um, what do you call it so they've got their race starting in 15 minutes. Made a mess T1. Uh, yeah, it happens, P. Gibb. You waited. You didn't benefit from it. I don't think it will come of it. Hey, we're good, that. Uh, right, I'm going to bounce out the lobby, I think, just so other drivers can get in. Big Willow. Oof. Oof. Oh, dear. I'm going to bounce out just purely because there's just probably people waiting for that lobby. So I'm not going to take up a space I don't need. <laughs> yeah, it was a good battle. It was good. It looked, it looked fun. What the hell is that? Higher than the birds in the sky, hotter than the weather in July. What? Man, you want acid? GTTCC hairdressers champs. Boop, boop. Um, right, so what's coming up next then? So we've got... Uh, I've got to record a video which is the Infinity GT Manufacturer Series video. That will probably be out probably the weekend. Um, I am... What am I doing? What am I doing after that? What am I doing after that? So, Friday's GTTCC. I might stream it live. I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. Um, but obviously I'll be doing my review videos at the weekend for that. Uh, then it's Sunday with the uh, back with the next gen guys to deal with the Megans, and then on Tuesday we've got yes, yeah, so full full diary basically. Um, every night this week for the next couple of weeks is pretty much taken up with something. Something's got to give next season because I can't keep on, I can't keep doing this. Um, I'm in this rig more than I'm in bed, I think. Um, but there we go. Uh, right, thanks for tuning in, people. Appreciate it as always. I'm going to make a cup of tea now and do some um, uh, do some video editing myself. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you for Big Willow next uh, next Thursday night. Good night.